What's going on everyone? Thanks for joining me once again to another Guzman's Reptiles video. Today's video, we do have a banger. We have one of my favorite videos to make and that is gonna be a gecko uh, unboxing. So this unboxing is actually gonna be from Guardians of the Geckos. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with, Gar with Guardians of the Geckos, they do have uh, their very own YouTube channel. They're actually one of the first channels that I began watching uh, that actually got me into collecting um, geckos or breeding geckos. Uh, check him out he has a bunch of videos uh, up there on how to do different different uh, builds um, how he houses uh, vending shows all that stuff so go ahead and check him out so he did post a video last week and uh, that made me jump on his website uh, gardensofthegeckos.com and i realized that he did have this uh, bad boy available so i went ahead and contacted them made the purchase and went ahead and scheduled uh, delivery for today we are in the middle of summer so i definitely appreciate them working with me and because it is the middle of summer, he went ahead and included what I, what I believe this is this what is an ice pack. First time I've ever seen this, but it's a thermo freeze. So, like I said, uh, I think in my county here we're, we're anywhere between 85 to 90 degrees today. So definitely appreciate him, appreciate him um, uh, doing that extra care and, and sending that uh, the ice pack. I did pick him up at the local hub though, so that definitely that was a plus. So, as I was saying, this is from Guardians of the Geckos. They do have, in my opinion, some of the best designs I've ever seen. So, check them out. Look at their stickers. Look at their uh, t-shirts. Their designs are spot on. So, back to it. So, the gecko that I got is a Crested Gecko uh, Red Base Confetti Dalmatian out of Star Lord, Star Lord and Constellation. Uh, he is on the um, uh, ready to breed size. So, I believe he's about two years old. Um, and from my understanding, it was one of his holdbacks that he decided to let go because he, he was moving a different direction. Uh, but the reason I got this guy is not only because he's from the confetti line, um, and in, which is something that uh, I want to go ahead and introduce to my lines. Um, not only to introduce to my non-confetti lines, but also to breed into my conf uh, confetti uh, females as well. So we'll get into the gecko here in a second. But before we do that, um, he did include this premium gecko diet uh, with dubia roaches from Lagardi. Um, I didn't pay for this. He went ahead and included it for free, so I definitely appreciate it. And at the very bottom of the actual uh, package was a cryo pack. So very important shipping in the summers. Not only did you do a cryo pack, but you also did uh, the ice pack. So very appreciative. I definitely will be keeping a lookout and uh, uh, potentially buying from him again. So here's the um, gecko out, out in the sun. Like I said, the reason I got him was for his genetics, but also because um, of, look at the head structure that he has. Uh, his crests are pointing down. They're nice, his head is nice and wide. Um, he's ready to breed. And he has, um, like I said, great genetics. So super excited with what he, with how he came in. He is a little chunky, uh, chunky dude. Uh, so he is uh, ready to breed. Unfortunately, I believe most of my uh, females, I don't have any females this year, I should say, that are uh, uh, open to, for, for me to pair them with. Uh, all of them have already paired, so they already have, uh, they've already been laying eggs from previous males, and I don't want to introduce him uh, to them just yet, just because they're already fertile, they already, they already have their eggs fertilized, and I, I don't want to um, think that I have one one pair when I, when I actually have a different one, if that makes sense. I want the eggs that come from, from that female to be 100% sure that they are his eggs. I don't want to be second guessing uh, who the male, uh, who the sire is for those eggs. So I think best case is that I hold off from pairing him for, the, for this year and go ahead and pair uh, him to some of my uh, red base Dalmatians next year. Uh, nonetheless, I am super excited to have him in my collection. Uh, I am kind of male heavy right now. I have been trying to diverse, diversify some of my uh, genetics as far as male goes. Uh, because I do want to have, I do want to hold back a lot of females. Um, that way I can uh, hold them back and then bring them back to uh, different genetics that I have for my mills. But close up, you can see this guy is fired up right now. So some of the red dots or the red spots that he has aren't fully showing through. Uh, but in the in the near future, uh, I'll be sure to uh, kind of try to try to catch him unfired and uh, post some either some reels, uh, some uh, shorts, or an, or an updated video. And just look at those crests, guys. If you guys see him, uh, his structure is spot on, kind of what I'm looking to get. So really excited to add uh, this genetics 
Um, and even more excited to know that they're um, uh, coming from Guardians of the Geckos. So I'll leave you guys with that. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Comment down below what type of videos you want to see going forward. And don't forget um, to check out our website, GoosemansReptiles.com. Uh, we do have some availability coming up. Uh, most of my stuff is going to be on Morph Market, but you can check them out on GoosemansReptiles.com. Appreciate it. Catch you guys on the next one.